do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Callie's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Callie's world. Hey, friends. Look what I got from my friend Jada. It's a pet cactus. She wrote a note with it. Do you want to hear what it says? Great! It says, Callie, I overheard you talking about deserts the other day and thought you might like this. It's a cactus. You can find them in the desert, only much bigger. Be careful with it. Treat it like you would treat a friend. I know you will because you're a great friend. And I love you, Jada. That was so nice. Okay, I know Jada told me to be careful with this cactus, but she also told me to treat it like a friend. So, I guess what I should do with my cactus is give it a big hug. Should I do it? Okay, here I go. No, I'm just kidding. There's no way I'm going to give a hug to this very spiky cactus. Well, the number two thing I like to do with my friends is give high fives. So I guess what I should do with my new friend Cactus is give it a big high five. Should I do it? Here I go. No, I'm kidding again. There is no way I would give this prickly cactus a high five. That would hurt. Friends, I don't think this is what Jada meant when she said treat it like I would a friend. Hmm. I need to wonder about this more as we check out our Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 20. Before Moses and the Israelites ended up in the desert, they used to live in a land called Egypt. They weren't treated well there. God rescued the Israelites from Egypt and told them to head out for a new land. The Israelites had been in Egypt for a long, long time. They didn't really know how to live out there on their own. So, God guided them by giving them commandments. These were like rules. Sometimes we don't like rules, but the reason for these rules was to help the people of God to know how to love God and each other. First, God told them to put God first in everything. That means everything we do is for God. Second, this meant worshiping only God. Some people worship fake gods or they worship created things like trees or birds. God instructed them to worship the creator, not the creation. Third, since God was the only real God they needed to respect God's name. That meant taking care of how and when they said it. Thought and care should go into each time they said God's name. This is also a way to show love to God. Fourth, believe it or not, we can also show God love by resting. God made it that way. God rested on the seventh day of creation. God instructed the people to rest on the seventh day of the week also. How cool is that? We can love God by simply resting. Fifth, God instructs the people to obey their moms and dad. This was a way for them to love each other. Six, God told them to be kind. That means don't hit or hurt another person. Seventh, God said they should keep their promises. Doing what you say you'll do is a way to show love to others. Eight, God told them to love others by leaving their things alone. Don't take what isn't yours. Ninth, God instructed them to tell the truth. Tenth, God instructed the Israelites that they should be happy with what they have. Don't waste time wishing for someone else's stuff. God knew that if they obeyed these commandments they've been given, they would be loving God and others. And we can still make that choice to obey these commandments today. We can love God and others. That is so cool! God gave them like ways to live together and love each other. Speaking of that, I decided I would just call Jada and ask her about what she meant when she said treat this cactus like a friend. Hey Jada! 
Hey, Callie, good to see you. Oh, and I see you got my present. How do you like your cactus? I like it a lot, but I have a question. What did you mean when you said to be careful and treat it like a friend? Well, first off, you didn't try to hug it or high five it, right? I thought about it, but no, that would be too prickly. <laughs> yeah. Callie, if you go back and look at the note, I didn't write careful, although you should be with a cactus. <laughs> I wrote careful, as in full of care. I meant take care of it, to water it. Yeah, even a cactus needs water sometimes. And give it time in the sun. It's used to that. I can do that. I know you can, and I know you will, because you are a very careful friend. Being careful is one way of showing friends and even a cactus love. So cool! We were just learning about the Ten Commandments, when God gave people ways to live together and love each other. You know, some people think of the Ten Commandments as strict rules, but we should think of them more like tools that help us live together and help love each other. It's so cool that we can still obey the commandments today. We sure can! God gave us the Ten Commandments so that we can love God and love others. I'm gonna go water my cactus. Thanks, Jada. And thanks, friends, for learning and growing with me. Bye. Bye.